So with the Taliban having taken charge of Afghanistan, the future of Afghan women, of course, hangs in the balance. Now, striking a bit of a conciliatory note, the Taliban has pledged that women's rights will be protected so long as they remain within the boundaries of Sharia. But reports from the ground, in fact, paint a completely a different picture altogether. The former Afghan Minister of Mines and Petroleum, Nargis Khan, in fact, spoke to us, and this is, in fact, her very first interview with international media. And we asked Nargis as to what she thought about the Taliban, which said that it would form an inclusive government and how she would see things moving ahead at the moment. And this is what she had to say. Uh, well, what we see that uh, Taliban um, uh, captured uh, the provinces and Kabul very quickly, uh, which took all of us by surprise. Uh, but we also see a step forward, and that shows that uh, people are really not uh, willing to fight anymore and uh, and have violence, including the Taliban. For example, they captured uh, most of the Afghanistan provinces, uh, except uh, Panjshir and few other districts. Uh, but they're constantly having backdoor uh, discussion uh, with the Northern Alliance and trying to convince them for uh, coming forward and having a negotiation rather than uh, fighting. So I see that as a step forward, and that shows that there is a political maturity among uh, the, politi the, the people now that they would like to discuss the differences and try to find a settlement peacefully rather than fighting all the time. But then in the meantime, what we all also see that um, the situation changed very rapidly in Afghanistan. Uh, in the last, uh, I just uh, got out of Afghanistan myself yesterday, and I spent almost a week under the rule of Taliban. Uh, so what I saw that um, we had um, a country without a state. Um, people were very much confused. Uh, on one hand. Um, People are very much um, uh, still scared of uh, even thinking of having Taliban ruling the country and are having a lot of anxiety to, to move ahead. But then in the meantime, uh, I myself could manage to go uh, out, uh, could go to market, and in the meantime could have my meetings. So right now what we see the situation that the, the, the anxiety is very high. We have a country without a state for more than a week now. Uh, we see that the negotiations are going on. Uh, and in the meantime, the Taliban keeps on talking about uh, um, about um, formation of an inclusive government. Uh, so we right now, nothing is moving ahead so that we can see how serious Taliban are about what they are promising to the people. And we also spoke to Nargis about the future of Afghanistan, especially with the Taliban firmly in command of Kabul. How do the common Afghans on the ground actually see the situation evolving there? Do they feel cheated by the foreign forces who first invaded Afghanistan, then promised that there will be democracy and there will be rights? And this is what Nargis Khan had to say. Uh, we were not expecting that the international community would abandon us so suddenly, especially they knew very well that uh, Afghanistan is still fighting the war uh, uh, of against the, ter uh, the terrorism. And in the meantime, we kept on asking for having a responsible withdrawal, and we have been talking about that. Uh, and the number of international troops were not that significant that um, would have made a huge difference for them. But still, uh, President Biden came with a decision of sudden withdrawal, and we saw the effect of that, that actually with this uh, uh, announcement, actually he put in vain and he risked and uh, all the investments that uh, the world supported us, but it was mostly Afghans that we, we had achieved that with our blood and with the treasure, of course, that the world had uh, uh, supported us. Also, another critical aspect in terms of how life has changed is about the role of women in, in terms of how they can actually go about and doing the different duties that they earlier were able to do. So, under the Taliban, we spoke to Nargis Khan about how she saw what would be their role within the government. Will they be allowed to, in fact, come out and work? Although the Taliban has said that women will have every freedom so long as it is within the boundaries of Sharia, we asked her, can Taliban be trusted? in terms of the rights of women in the country. And this is what she had to say. 
Well, Taliban are talking that the regime are, is going to be accommodating to women and as well as uh, uh, the regime is going to be very inclusive. Uh, but in Afghanistan, we have different definition of inclusive. Uh, even previous, with the previous, previous administration also, we had the experience that they were talking about form, forming inclusive government. But what we would also see that they would try to go and find, uh, and for them, the uh, definition of inclusive means that they need to have representative from different ethnic uh, uh, ethnicity of Afghanistan. For example, they need to have representative in their cabinet from Pashtuns, Tajiks, Uzbeks, and Azaras, and that's how they would see it inclusive. But the definition of inclusive, where you bring people from different backgrounds, ideologies, and aspirations, and age groups that they come together, and all of them work together and try to build a united vision for the country, we didn't see that with the previous administrations and also with the Taliban while they're talking about the inclusive government, only time will tell us that do they really believe in inclusive government or not? Would they be able to form that or not? Well, Taliban is going to be much more challenging because people do not trust them. So they need to show more in action rather than uh, giving lip services. And also we need to remember that the people of Afghanistan have been cheated all the time, not only by the international community, by our own politicians as well. So people are very much frustrated. And after this, the only way that people would trust anybody's promise, whatever they are promising, is only when they demonstrate that by action. Other than that, people would not trust them. So same thing goes with women. As a woman, what I saw that so far, they have not come with the restrictions, but what we saw that they have also said that women should sit at home uh, uh, until uh, we come up with our uh, with, with the next announcement, those women that they have been working with the government. So this itself shows that either Taliban are trying to see and test the situation that would what kind of policy they can come forward for women, or we see lack of cohesion within the Taliban that some group of them who are moderate, they believe that they should be accommodating to women and other groups, and there are also other groups that they don't, uh, they don't, uh, uh, they don't uh, still believe in accommodating, being more accommodating to women. So the time will tell us that how accommodating they would be uh, with women. But what we see that in the last uh, uh, seven days that they have taken charge of mainly Kabul, two things we see that somehow contradict each other. And we hope that later on, uh, at least in like the moderate one, the positive ones will take, uh, will be more prominent. So what we see that they have not come up with any kind of restrictions, especially on women, that they should not go to market, they should not go out alone without any muharram. And uh, I, see, I have gone several times out uh, for shopping and for going around uh, to my uh, relative's house. Uh, myself, quite low profile, what I saw that women were still going around. and, uh, and But of course, uh, the situation was different. They were more scared. The number was quite less, but there was not any kind of restrictions on them, on their movement. So that is a positive sign that we see. But then on the other hand, what we also see that they have started consultation with different groups uh, about formation of the government, with the ulamas, with different ethnicities, with elders, with the academia and others. But we don't see any ca consultation going on with women group. So we hope that the consultation about formation of an inclusive government with the women group should also start and when we are talking about women group it should not be only women with uh, ideology that uh, resonates mostly with the Taliban but also more women with more progressive ideology academia civil society media young group young age all of them so that was Nargis Khan the former Afghan minister of mines and petroleum beyond is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news on the move